Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use sequences in HubSpot CRM. So once you log into HubSpot CRM of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in this video I'm going to be discussing sequences, what they are and how to create them. So firstly we want to head over to our automation up the top here, use the drop down menu and then we can go to our sequences tab like you can see here. So I go to sequences and then as you can see, this is where the sequences page is and we can create up to 5,000 sequences. Now, in case you're not familiar, sequences is a means of sending email after email dependent on what a contact is doing over a period of time. So you might send an introductory email uh, two days after the contact has been added to the HubSpot system and then depending on what they do, whether they open that email or do not, you can then go ahead and send another email. So let's say they open that email, you could then send a follow up email. If they didn't open that email, you could do something else. Perhaps you could assign a phone call to a user, for example. So that is what sequences is. It's a way of communicating intelligently with records inside of your HubSpot system. And I must say it is really, really useful. It's a brilliant tool. Um, and you can do, you can, you know, prevent a lot of time wasting and just make your life a lot easier when used correctly. So once you're on the automation page and you're at sequences, all you need to do is go ahead and create a sequence up the top here by pre pressing create sequence. Now we've got start from scratch and the other option is HubSpot has very kindly made us some pre-made sequences that we can go ahead and use. So I'm going to use one of the pre-made ones just as an example. Otherwise, I'll spend the entire video just writing out emails. But essentially what you can see is here we've got five steps for this particular sequence, six business days to complete and a contact will be unenrolled from this sequence in any of these cases. So we've got one, an automated meal, uh, <laughs> meal, automated email is created. And then from there, a phone call. And then from there, an email. And then from there, another automated email. So this email task is created. A task is created two days in two days. Then you've got an automated email after three days. And then you've got a to-do in one business day. So as you can see, it takes six business days to complete. And if you do the maths on that, so the automated email is sent plus two days and that's an additional, so three days, five days, six days. I hope you're getting the idea now. So I'm going to go ahead and press create sequence once I've selected the template. And as you can see, we can go ahead and start assigning all of the different steps. So we've got our automated email here and this is the automated, hey, contact first name, I saw you downloaded, whatever from our website I was curious what you thought about it. We're currently building a ton of new content, etc., etc., etc. So that's the automated email. And then automatically a task has been created for two days time to give them a call. And then after that, the an email is an email task has also been created immediately after the phone call. So you can do a follow-up email. And then after three days after that um, email and the phone call was had you've got an automated email again and it's hey contact i've been working recently with some folks help them i'm sure you've got so that's another attempt to communicate with them and then finally you have a to-do list which is create task in and then the task title contact completed sequence without a response and then if you do have a response then obviously you can move on from there now to build this out it's really simple I've, obviously I've used a template but you can just go ahead and add add something in between so you can add an automated email an email task a call task a to-do task or if you've got the sales navigator created send in mail or connection request as well so it's really really clever and it's really simple as well creating these sequences and you can literally build out your process of communicating with clients inside of the HubSpot system just to make your life so so easy once you've done that, just go to the settings where you can select some general settings like execute steps on business days only, of course, follow up emails, thread emails as replies. You've got automated email send windows and then tasks as well. Email reminders, receive an email reminder at the time you choose. So you can turn that on as well and select the time if you so wish. And then finally, we've got our automation tab up the top where we can contact replies to email, unenroll from recent conversion. 
if you get replies to the email, contact replies to the email, unenroll all contacts that are set from the same company if you get a reply, again up to you, and then contact schedules and meeting, unenroll from recent conversion. So again, these are all entirely up to you um, and how you want to set up your, uh, your, your workflow, or I suppose your uh, sequences. And then finally at the top here, you can just give your sequence a name. So I'm just gonna call this test sequence. Um, and make it make sure it's relevant to what this sequence is doing for you. And then finally, you just press the save button. And then as you can see, I've created our new sequence, our test sequence. Press the back button, you can see our sequences here. Um, and there you have it. You've got your sequences that you have able to manage and you can work through. Now, if you press the edit button again, and then you wanna go and change and add different information or check, you can change parts of what you are writing here. So if I wanna remove bits of information, just go to the actions and then you can go ahead and delete it and create a new one. Or if you wanna, like I said, add new information, let's say I wanna create an email, you can just set the email task, test, uh, test email, and then select the type. And again, just press the add button. And then you can go ahead and you can select the business days, create tasking, etc., and then continue without completing task for the sequence. It's really simple, it's really clever. Please give it a go. My explanation, I hope, is good, but you're only really going to understand this stuff when you're playing around with it and giving it all a try. So I recommend you do that. And hopefully, this has given you a good understanding of what sequences is, and hopefully. I will see you in the next video. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use sequences in HubSpot CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.